Don't rely on pleading, but on the development of eligibility, character. Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya Book title, Bhagwan Ka Anudan Kin Sharto Par Under what circumstances will God grant your wishes? What is the connection between grace and pleading? Anugrah Eva Manohar These are several practices prevalent in the world for quite some time now, like people requesting help from their friends, family or colleagues and receiving that help in the form of a favor. Many a times the person who asks for help and is extended the same is capable and sometimes those are helped who are incapable of doing things on their own. Example, differently abled people, children and the elderly etc. Is there any similarity between grace and pleading? Yes, the biggest common factor between these is the time period. These only remain valid for a certain time period after which it may turn into a liability or even a burden eventually. Example, as parents keep providing essential items to their kids while they are growing up. Why? Simply because they are incapable of feeding themselves. Their brain is not developed enough to earn and lead a life of their own. They need a lot of learning to stand on their own called maturity. Once they are mature, educated, they are expected to live a life on their own and be independent. Often, we have seen that age is not directly related to maturity. There are people who are entirely grown up but still dependent on others for their livelihood despite being equally capable of achieving what their fellow humans have earned, which is nothing but disgrace. Who gets what? Just like the kids do not receive any precious gifts but mere toys for their entertainment from their parents, similarly those capable but ideal humans who are over dependent on others will not receive anything significant in life if they keep on relying externally instead of trying to help themselves. After a certain point, such help would be dependent on the credential or eligibility of the receiving individual. A thankless human may keep on receiving such support in one way or the other, but in the longer run, she or he will lose something in exchange that is more precious than anything, that is, self-respect, value. One can always sense a debt towards the helping hand. It will be in the best interest if this debt is of love, affection, care and respect. Author's Views Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya said, Man himself makes his own destiny, not God. God helps those who dedicate themselves to a more significant cause. Many times we often keep begging God for the fulfillment of our desires and wishes and if those are not fulfilled, we then blame God for not helping us. Be it materialistic or spiritualistic desires, we can fulfill those desires by getting His grace and that we can get by developing character, patrata. We need to understand to get divine grace and we need to refine ourselves. God is the same for all and His grace is equal for all, but it depends upon us how we receive it. For example, an inverted pot can never fill itself with water, no matter how long it rains, but as and when it is facing the right direction, making itself available to receive the shower, even a small drizzle can fill it. Swami Vivekanand said, God is merciful to those whom He sees struggling heart and soul for spiritual realization, but remain idle without any struggle and you will see that His grace will never come. Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya said, Develop character, your capacity to receive divine grace. If we give up our selfish mean mentality, then no one can stop us from being great human beings in the true sense. Few excerpts from the book. What does it take to be spiritual? A spirituality is often misunderstood as a relationship with your God, where you can ask for anything and by being spiritual, your desire will be fulfilled. I'm not sure how much the world has benefited from this conceptual error in understanding spirituality, but it has undoubtedly not profited from it. It has made humans dependent on others. Spirituality is not in receiving but giving. 
What should we offer and to whom should we give? We should give good health to our body. We should put in efforts to lead a healthy life. Our mind is not stable and we should provide food for mind, thought and work for its stability. Don't rely on pleading but on the development of eligibility, character. Prayer doesn't mean you will get what you ask for. To join the family of gods, Dev Parivar, in which we have joined means that divinity should develop within us. To be generous means we must learn to give. The grave that man digs for his own death, he digs with the tip of the tongue. It rains all over the world, but their water is collected where there is depth or eligibility. The ultimate effort in human life, the only good fortune, is that he should give up his lousy mentality, refuse the nature of corrupt thinking and evil conduct. Important topics covered in the book are On what conditions God gives grant? Be like a child. Do not depend on recommendation, depend on eligibility. Learn to give. Gods and doctors cannot provide health. Develop eligibility, get achievements.